the Vaal River is being poisoned by pesticides containing glyphosate. That's the fear of water expert Anya Duplessis, who says the chemical is very difficult to remove from water. It is the most widely used pesticide in the world and a key part of commercial farming. But it's been linked to cancer as well as kidney and liver diseases. Well, um, glyphosate is a non-selective herbicide, which means that it kills most plants. Um, and that's, this has now obviously been sprayed um, this week over large parts of the Val River. The, the plants usually then die off within two weeks. But the main concern is, is that the glyphosate as a herbicide um, stays within your, your water system. And some of the most of our water treatment works won't be able to actually remove it. Um, also, the main issue is what we need to address. And that is basically our sewage crisis. Um, I was at um, the, the Percy Stewart wastewater treatment works yesterday. Um, as you can see, it is polluting the rivers downstream. Um, the manholes, the sewage manholes are overflowing and the river is completely dead. Um, that obviously then flows into your, your cradle of humankind, into the Artebius Burr Dam. Um, and this is why we also have a continuous problem within the Artebius Burr Dam um, of water hyacinths primarily um, in the Val Dam, uh, in the Val River or the Val system, we, we have both. So we have the water hyacinth and we have the, the water lettuce, which are both alien invasive uh, floating plants, um, which is very invasive. It spreads rapidly. It feeds on the nutrients in, in the water um, and is uh, closely linked with eutrophication, as we've seen in, in the Artebius Dam. So the primary concern is basically the, the major health impacts that it has.